Hey y'all, it's Billy Hill, and today we're going to look at the native burial ground and the interesting weapon that you can find there. So I'm going to show you how to get there, show you where the weapon is, and we're going to take a look at the native burial ground because it's pretty awesome. So I was out hunting, we're also going to look at the map. I was out hunting uh, cougars, and I stumbled upon this. And so I was like, hold on, I think we got us something here. So here we are in the map. By, I think that said Blackstone Forest. You can tell where it is. by It's in the circle in that little range there. Black Bone Forest. Uh, under the E of West Elizabeth. We're right on the edge there. And there's a trapper, if you'll note, right up at the top. So when you come upon this, you're going to see some very cool stuff. Checking on my horse, I guess. I don't know. And uh, so we're going to take a look at that. We're going to look at the skulls, which are obviously very old. So we have a cross in the center. We have stones. We have feathers, which are a totem for the Indians. Uh, feathers are a, a, a totem for the spiritual realm. So that's why you see Indian headdresses and things like that. It is a way for them to talk to the spirits. It's also why I have feathers on my hats and in my trucks and everything else. I didn't know that, though. It came to me in a dream, but that's a whole other uh, YouTube video there. Have a nice uh, skull. Now, I'm from Texas. You would literally find skulls like that on the ground walking around. I doubt that that's how it is now, but as a kid, that and I, I, I wonder, where's all my cow skulls? I used to have, like, more than any man should have. So here's the actual bodies. Now, I've seen them uh, be wrapped like this, but I've also seen them... Uh, put up like that with all their possessions and then they would burn them and uh, I'm sure this isn't tribe specific we have to get our journal out and make some notes and take some uh, images there because uh, who knows we'll get old I might have to write a book you know once we're out of here so if we look over here we can see these bodies covered in what appear to be cow skin and then this very iconic very awesome piece um, super cool right there in the middle and then your next question is, okay, this is cool, Billy Hell, but where is, look at that thing. I want that like, well, I don't have tattoos, but if I did, maybe that would have to be one I get right on my chest or maybe on my back. Okay, let's swing around and we're going to go look at this rock cross. So it's not a cross, is it? What is the shape there? It's more of kind of a wheel, I guess. Looks like a weapon wheel, actually, if you think about it. But right in the middle of that, is it on the map? I don't believe it's shown on the map, but right in the middle of that is the stone hatchet. So to pick that up, you're going to L1. So we will reach down and grab it, pick it up. You, you tap L1, it goes into your knife slot, and now you have it, the stone hatchet. Let's go in the compendium and take a look and learn a little bit. So the stone hatchet is an old and rare hatchet made from a large stone blade, leather strap, and feathers. This melee weapon was found at a native burial site. We know we were just there. In Big Valley, West Elizabeth, and was likely used as part of a burial ceremony. The hatchet can also be thrown. Um, the damage is medium, or I'd say 53%. Range is short. Accuracy is also not that great. So let's go ahead and test that out. And so I'm going to find an appropriate tree and melee the crap out of it. First, short distance. Bang, bang. So you get a pistol after you throw a hatchet, in case you don't know. Which is good. You could stealth and then be armed. Although I did use this against a, a foe. And um, everyone around me seemed to be aware of it, even though I killed him with a hatchet. So then I thought, can I hit that tree? Let's give it a shot. Let's throw as hard as we can. Hell no, it landed right at the base. So then I look at the map here and I see, oh, it's, a, it's golden. It's easily found. And then my horse runs up on top of it. And I'm like, where the hell is the hatchet? So that is a native burial ground. And that is the stone hatchet. Now you know where to get it. Go get it. So you have it. Because we want everything in our Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, experience. Hey, I'm so... So, so hit the subscribe button. I'm uh, being dedicated. I'm uploading videos a lot. And uh, the only time I don't is when I can't find what it is I'm trying to do. Like the ghost train, which I could never find the other night. I spent like six hours looking for that damn thing. Anyway, I'm Billy Hell. I appreciate it. And I will talk to y'all on the next Billy Hell video. Ride with me, y'all.